Not only do they fit the back that I had to play today, but looking at how to play this uh, cute little set collecting game called Squirrels. And again, it's set collecting, you're trying to get acorns, get your own damn acorns. <laughs> Two to six players, eight to seven and up. Pretty light, quick game. And uh, winter is coming. <laughs> I just had to say that. So what you get in this game is you get a bunch of cards that have different numbers and acorns on them, as you can see. One, threes, they go up to five. And uh, there's 31, there's 24 twos, 18 threes, 12 fours, and only nine fives. You also have some action cards, such as the Coral, the Horde, the Whirlwind, there's the Winter, and I believe there's one more, yes, Ambus. And I gotta find one more card. You also have the Rotten Acorn and the Golden Acorn. One is good, one is bad. I'll let you guess which one is which. <laughs> so, first you're gonna set uh, a score you're gonna play to, like 50 as an example. You'll figure that out beforehand. And uh, one player can keep the score, the other person can be the dealer, stuff on the card. Each player will get seven cards. Now, I'm just trying to figure out the winter card. So, the winter card will go into the deck. This will signify the end of a round. As soon as this gets revealed, the round is over. So we'll just throw it in there. Each player is going to get seven cards dealt out to them. Boom. And the rest becomes a draw deck. Obviously, you keep these secret to yourself. Um... I will throw these in there as well, but I want to explain them first. The Rotten Acorn, whoever has this at the end of the game will lose 5 points from this score. And this card you cannot generally pass it around. You're going to be passing cards around using some of these different actions. The Rotten cannot be passed, or can only be passed, sorry, during a quarrel. An ambush or a whirlwind. Otherwise, you're stuck with it. <laughs> the golden acorn is if you're holding this at the end of the game, you get an extra five points. And it will trump all of the numbers when you're playing it and can be used in place of a number to win a quarrel. Throw that there. Then you've got these other cards here. The quarrel. Basically what happens when this one gets revealed, everyone will play a card, reveal it, whoever has the highest card wins, and they get to collect all those nuts. If uh, two more players have the same highest card, so let's just say everyone does this, this guy would win and they would collect all these nuts. That's how the quarrel works. The Horde. Basically, uh, there's going to be a Horde pile. There's going to be a pile of cards that will be kind of the discard. When this gets played, whoever slaps the Horde pile first gets to collect those cards and add them to their score. As an example. And then they also get to take their turn. The Ambush is the next one I'll talk about. Basically, this one, you play it, and you get to just randomly take a card from each player and add it to your own. You add it to your, I guess, to your hand. doesn't specify. And then the Whirlwind is the last one here. This one 
Well, to redistribute the cards, what you're gonna do is you're gonna collect everyone's hands, mix them up, and we deal them out. Find an interesting card. Let's go on for all these back into the deck. Now, as I mentioned, if somebody slaps the hoard pile on an action card and it's not a hoard card, that player must take the most valuable card from their hand and put it in the hoard pile as a penalty. If a person happens to have both the golden acorn and the rotten acorn in their hand, they may, dis may discard the rotten acorn over the golden acorn into the hoard pile as long as they have no other cards to discard. So, we're going to be playing several rounds. I do know a few things. So you're going to have basically three piles. You're going to have the draw pile. You're going to have a discard pile for action cards. And another discard pile, which is going to be the hoard pile for number cards. As long as you have, if you have less than seven cards in your hand, if you start off with six, I guess, no, you're supposed to start off with, oh, because I have a seven one here, duh. <laughs> um, if you have less than seven cards in your hand, you can continue drawing until you reach seven cards, but you're always going to start by drawing a card to draw back up to seven. At least one card. When is your turn? Once you've uh, drawn up, you can choose to store acorns. So, wow, <laughs> I have a lot of it too. What you can do is any sets of three matching number cards, you can put into your storage pile. So I'm going to take this and put it in my storage pile and score those later on. And I can do that with this one as well. And that will be my turn, basically. So you're going to draw up to seven. So next, if I, it came back to me, I'm going to draw up to seven cards. And then I could store these, because they're two sets of three. So I can store these and save them for later, which is good. It's, it's four points. So then... Uh, Next play is going to go, they're going to do the same thing, they're going to draw, well they have a seventh card here, they're going to, they can store the set of fives, I did not suffer these at all, and then that will be your turn. The next play is going to go, they got a bunch of ones, so they're going to store this, and I'll store this, and it comes back to me, I already took my second turn, we'll just leave these cards face up so I don't get mixed up. So then this player would go again. They're gonna, it would be my turn, which I already went a second time. So then they're gonna go, they're gonna draw up to seven. So three more cards. And they're gonna store any sets of three they have if they want. They keep going around the table like this. If somebody plays an action card, you will take that action. Again, the ambush. The coral, everyone takes a card from their hand, plays it face down, flip them, highest one collects all those nuts. If it's a horde, you get slap the horde pile, and whoever does the first collects the cards. And the whirlwind, you will take all the hands, the cards people have in their hands, stuff them up and redeal them. And the ambush, you're just gonna steal a card from every other player. And of course, once you get to winter, winter is coming. You will end the round. Let me just verify a few things here. Uh, 
Now, also, I, I knew I'd forget something. At the end of your turn, you must discard one card into the horde pile. So I would make that discard. The discard would go in, and maybe they discard a card. And then this guy goes, and he discards a card. So you're always going to, on your turn, draw back up to seven. Take any sets of free cards, like I did before, if you have any. I don't. Add them to your pile, to your stores. And then you're going to make a discard, obviously. I would discard the one because it's not worth very much. And then this guy's going to go. We're going to draw up to seven. Oops. So we're going to draw one, two. Ooh, they got the rotten one, which is unfortunate for them. <laughs> Uh, they can't save anything, so they're just going to discard a one. And of course, you could also play an action card. And that is kind of the game in a, well, nutshell, pun intended. It's a simple little set collecting game where you try to collect sets of three. You got action cards that can be good or bad. <laughs> you got some points that are going to count as negatives or positives. Once. You reach that winter card, the round ends, you score, or the game ends, I guess. You score your points, but the round will end. You're going to score your points. In this case, if we're at the end, I have four, six, ten. I got like 27 points. And then you keep playing until you hit your predetermined score. Uh, again, that's the game kind of in a nutshell. I should mention this game is by... I believe it was self-published uh, by Continuum, I guess, is the company or the creator. This is from 2018, but there's older versions I've seen out there. They're all basically the same. Maybe a little bit of difference in the artwork. Uh, the quality is just okay. It's it, it's a smooth, plastic-coated, cheaper quality stock and finish as you might expect. I think I maybe got this one on Amazon. I don't recall for certain. Um, or maybe it was on their website. One other thing I will say is this is not deep enough for all these cards. And there's no reason why they couldn't make this deeper. I absolutely dislike when companies make an insert for a game like this. And they don't make it deep enough for the cards. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, also, as you can see, the cards are already chipping, and this is worth fairly limited use, but it is what it is. It's an alright game, good for family fun. I mean, it's going to be at the bottom of my list when it comes to games that I would recommend. Uh, there's dozens of other games I'd probably recommend over this one. But it's a nice, like, filler family fun game if you're interested. It's not bad. It's not a bad game at all. It's just... There's other ones out there that I would probably say are better. Anyways, that is the game. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And get your own damn acorns. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.